Horsey. We're at Woolbridge Lock. We're at Dawlish Warren. Here we are. Guys, this is uh, Castle Bridge. We're stood in the middle of Westerway Plain Roundabout. I'm Jilly Greed. My name's James Cooney. I'm Nick. It's about the people, really. That's what it comes down to. Uh, behind me, you can see the judges behind us interrogating us. Life without the Institution of Civil Engineers would, would be a little bit duller. What's the Southwest known for? Cream teas, the scenery, the climate. But we're here for the engineering over the next couple of days and we've been offered a smorgasbord of engineering projects. My name's Andy Bruton, I'm the Programme Manager for Tate St Ives Project and I am standing in the new gallery that we have excavated out of the side of a hill and is now open to the public. This is uh, one of the most difficult projects I've ever undertaken. It's a single 500 square meter space. Um, it's got landscape gardens and a car park on top and you don't even know it's there until you get there. And the gallery inside is um, a, a beautiful top lit gallery with the natural light of St Ives going into it. It's a, a, a real triumph of design. Uh, so I'm Alex Hoffer and I'm Senior Project Manager with Cormac. Um, we're here at uh, Church Square Roundabout as part of the Grave Deal schemes in Bodmin, which is a series of uh, 12 schemes to build within the town. What the judges need to know is, is the major upheaval that we um, had to build this scheme, particularly Church Square. We had to basically dig up the whole road, um, deal with the existing ancient leak system, um, divert major statuary undertakers and deal with a huge public animosity towards the scheme. It's not just a, a junction or a roundabout, it's something that people use, people actually occupy these spaces, their lives obviously revolve around this area, it's something that's important to everybody. So we're here at Tokaros today with the ICE judges, it's typical Devon weather, you should have come yesterday, it was glorious sunshine. We're showing them around the new sheet piled cedar fence wall that is buried in sand, so it's, it's quite a difficult site visit. Uh, it's, it's really gratifying to, to actually protect people, defend homes and reduce their flood risk. Obviously there's 51 properties here that wouldn't be here without the work we've done today. I love my job at BAM, I've uh, worked with them for 13 years. It's something that, that I've always wanted to do. I love the marine environment, I love working on the marine, I love the complications of it, and I like making a difference. Um, I work for the Environment Agency. My name is Richard Cox. This is at uh, Dawlish Warren on the Devon South Coast. I've been part of a project team that in 2017 provided coast protection works to this part of the world. Uh, it was very successful. We saved a lot of money and we protected a lot of people and uh, this is a great example of civil engineering in the 21st century. Um, we had a disaster here from a landslip. It was like a little mini earthquake when we lost the road, the lane. Without the help of civil engineers that work with us on this project in designing a scheme, a drainage scheme and constructing the bridleway, it would never ever have been possible. We're now sitting with a lost road but a lost road which has now been joined together with an approved bridal path and the community is about to hand this new project back to County Council for their ongoing maintenance. Here we are in the amazing River Tor floodplain where in just four months last year a team of amazing engineers and environmental scientists moved the river away from the railway. What we've done is we've created a new habitat and we've stopped the railway falling into the river. Having worked on scour schemes for 25 years, this is the first time I've been able to divert a river and put it back to where it was 200 years ago. Uh, we're stood in the middle of Westerway Plain Roundabout in Barnstable. Uh, a project completed by Griffiths with uh, Devon County Council. What made this project complicated? Well, where it is. It's outside North Devon Hospital. It's the only entrance into the hospital. 
and uh, we changed uh, Stagger Junction into a roundabout and it was uh, a traffic management nightmare and headache but we managed to achieve it with just two complaints in 20 weeks which I think is a fantastic achievement. So I'm, I'm Nick Gibb, I'm a project manager for Knights Brown Construction and um, I think this is the first sort of job I can say where we worked in a truly collaborative environment with both the clients and the consultants. I'm Nick, I'm an engineer from West Dorset District Council. We're here today to look at a scheme uh, to support the harbour wall at uh, Bridport Harbour, which is a West Bay. When you look at the project here, you, there's not a lot to see, but in, um, in terms of the actual technical content, it was sort of technically very challenging. It was a real challenge for us to build. For me, personally, it's very close to home. Um, I'm proud of what we've done here, and you know, it was a really enjoyable job to be on. Hi, we're in South Bristol. This is a Hartcliffe Way Metrobus project for Bristol City Council. This scheme has been fantastic for us and the way we've interacted with the community. We've really uh, listened to what they've got to say. We listen, there's a residential area, there's a retail unit and there's businesses. And what's made us different is that we've adapted our plans to suit what they've needed. I think communication was a big key for us. Yeah. You know, we kept people communicating with them so they knew exactly what we were going to do and when we were yeah. going to do it. My question was, I'm aware that Metrobus hasn't got a, up and running yet, mm. but the but the bus lane, the cycle lane are all now in go, service. Go in place, yeah. Have they changed uh, for the better? Obviously, there was no cycle path before, there was no bus lane before. Yeah. Uh, this is still a busy bus route. Absolutely. I've done this sort of thing for 35 years, so constantly one refers to, uh, to one's own experience and how they have dealt with those things. Hence, uh, I kind of put myself in their position what would have been the thought process and therefore I like to see as a judge that they have also gone through that process of elimination almost to arrive at the right solution. Okay, at the moment we are at the um, entrance to what is um, a unique bit of infrastructure on the highway network because it's a bus only junction on the M32. This project actually <laughs> provides um, a lot of benefit to the local communities linking jobs and no, local been, housing been, areas. Civil engineers do many things that nobody appreciates and see underground. Basically you see a load of men standing around a hole and you don't see what's, <laughs> what's generally happening until it's out of the ground and you think why the actual job's complete. So many, many things are said about a civil engineer is they stand around doing nothing but unfortunately with all that nothing doing the job gets built at the same time. <laughs> Uh, hi, uh, we're in Horsley, which is on the edge of the Cotswolds, and today we're having a look at the Horsley Hill Remediation Scheme, uh, which is behind me here. The scheme involved um, a landslide, uh, which happened on very steep hillside here, and to remediate that, we installed uh, 95 uh, big precast units. And what was the biggest challenge of the job? Uh, so the biggest challenge of the job was working on a very steep slope, um, and yeah, very, very limited working space for getting all the equipment in. Is this going to be here in 100 years time? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we uh, designed this to be a very robust scheme. Um, so yeah, it's uh, not going anywhere anytime soon. I think this project should win an award basically because engineering got us off the hook. We had a big time problem here. If you look behind me, the profile of that bank where the trees are continued all the way along here. Over the years the bank had been added to by the people living and working on the top. That had added to the weight. That weight had caused the, um, the lock tail wall to fail and be pushed over. So we ended up in a, in a position whereby we literally had about five months to design and uh, implement a project to get this lock opened again with the gates hung so we could get a boat through. It's just so nice to be able to you know come out here and see what you've done and you know, show, show people what you've achieved you know you sit in an office all day 
um, and you, you know, you're working on a computer and it's quite abstract and then you come out here and think, well, actually, that, that was what I was designing. Civil engineering is, is undervalued from a lot, a lot of aspects, mainly because you don't see a lot of it. You know, and so items like this, where you've got an element of infrastructure that's actual, you can see, people can touch and stuff is, is, is vitally important. It gets the word out there. People will start to understand more and more about how important infrastructure is, civil infrastructure is to, to society. This bridge, I've lived with this bridge for, for over three years and I think it just, it, it reflects part of me, it's, it reflects, um, you know, getting together with people and actually delivering something of value to the community and I think that the whole team worked together to, to make this come to fruition and it's a great, great legacy for, for Bristol City and the local community. We are at Bathurst Basin Bridge in uh, Bristol, which is uh, very close to the city centre of Bristol and is uh, part of the Bristol City Docks. It, it covers a lot of bases, this bridge. It's not simply just a bridge. It is sympathetic to the heritage of the area. We're in the City Docks conservation area that we were very conscious of and wanted the new bridge not to detract from these um, features. So I wouldn't envy the judges' task at all. It must be very, very difficult to choose a, choose a winner out of such a wide category of uh, projects. But, uh, I suppose that's, that's their job, that's what they put their hand up for. The thing behind all these projects is the people, is the unsung superheroes that have stood behind all these projects, that have delivered these schemes and have really, really demonstrated value in everything that they do. Now then, where's my cape? <laughs>